For question 11 on worksheet number 2, we have two liquids mixing together. We are trying to dissolve ethanol into water, and both of them are 50 ml. So we have ethanol, and I'm going to use a shorthand for the ethanol, E-T-O-H. Okay, because uh, this is the ethanol, the, uh, the prefix. For the alcohol, we always have a hydroxyl group, the OH at the end. So this is how I'm going to write the ethanol. So you know that. Uh, we have 50 ml. And we also have water. It is also 50 ml. And the question also gives you, uh, also gives you the densities of these two uh, liquids. For water, it is 1 gram per ml. Something that you learned from uh, previous science courses or or middle school. And for the ethanol, we have a density which is 0.789 grams per mil. Just to make sure that you know you understand the uh, the density, the meaning of density. It means that for every single mil of the uh, mil, for every single milliliter of the ethanol, it will it will have a mass of 0.789 grams. Let me just confirm. Yes, that's the, that's the uh, density. So, and the question is trying to ask you to find the molarity and the molality of the solution. So let me write down the uh, equation for molarity. I'm going to use the uh, shorthand. The moles of solute over the volume in liters of the solution, or the total volume of the solution. And the molality is the moles of solute over the kilograms of the solvent. Let me just put a, so this is the kilograms of the solvent. Um, so we are going to put in some values so that we can calculate. The moles of solute, we are not given with the, mo with the moles of solute, so we have to calculate. And the way we calculate is that we want to get the mole from the mass. And we are not given with the mass either. But we could definitely find out the mass with the help of density, right here. So what we can do is this. The mass of ethanol is equal to 50 mil times 1 mil of ethanol. And this is the point seven eight nine grams of ethanol. Let me just put an ethanol right here, just to be consistent. And if we use our calculator, we will get thirty nine point four five grams of ethanol. Now we have the grams, the mass, and then we can simply use the molar mass to find out the number of moles of the ethanol. So we have 39.45 grams of ethanol. The molar mass of ethanol is 46 grams per mole, if you calculate that. So 46 grams of ethanol is to one mole of ethanol. So if you use your calculator, you will find out that the number of moles would be 0.858 mole of ethanol. Okay? And now we have this number to put in here and here. Now what about the volume? Now the volume is also given by the, by the question. It's very interesting that when you have 50 ml of ethanol added to 50 ml of water, they don't equal to 100 ml. It is because of the interaction between the water molecules and the ethanol molecules, and the volume becomes smaller. So we're going to use the given volume, which is 95 ml, to solve, to find out the molarity. So it is 0.858 mole of ethanol over total volume is 0.095 liter. 
you have to convert from milliliter to a liter. And if you use a calculator, you will find out that the molarity is 9.0 molar. So that's the molarity. So let me draw a line right here. And how about the molality? Now the molality, we're going to use the same number because we are dealing with the same solute. And for the kilograms of the solvent, okay, this is the solvent. So the solvent here is our water, and water in kilograms is going to be, um, so, the, in, so we are given 50 mils of the water and it is one gram per mil, meaning that for every milliliter of the water, it is, uh, it is, its mass is one gram. So we have 50 grams of water, and let's just change the 50 grams to kilogram. And if you use a calculator, we will find out that the molality is 17.2. So this is how we can calculate both molarity and molality based on the information given right here from the question.